Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Holder, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. Uh, Thomas, it's a beautiful day to hit some iron shots. You've just hit a bunch. This is a comprehensive test of the Mizuno JPX 921 irons and then kind of comparing them to the Mizuno JPX 919 irons. So that's four models with each series, right? We've got Hot Metal, Hot Metal Pro, Forged, and the Tour. And so that's four different iron models to kind of compare between two generations. Um, you've hit shots with all of them, and now we're gonna look at the data here and compare them. So why don't we start with Hot Metal? It's kind of that game improvement model. Mizuno is known for their feel and the, and the soft sound maybe, but um, in terms of performance, they've stepped it up big time in game improvement category the last few generations. The Hot Metal is no exception. How's 921 compared to the 919? Yeah, so let's start with like a loft comparison. So yeah. the 921 loft is 29 degrees. The 919 is 30 degrees. Okay. So it is one degree stronger. So I do want to just take a look at kind of numbers here and see if there's anything that stands out to me kind of right off the bat. So first thing we noticed is the club that had the least amount of loft not only spun less, but also carried further. So the 921 yep. did carry about four to five yards further on okay. average than the hot metal. So 194.9 versus 199.6. So a little bit less loft caused mm -hmm. that ball to go a little bit further. It actually also spun about 900 RPMs less than the 919 mod hot metal as well, which is kind of interesting to see that that thing spun essentially 900 RPMs less, yeah. with only kind of one degree less loft on it, mm -hmm. essentially the two. I did swing 92, 93 miles an hour with both of them, so pretty accurate with regards to kind of numbers. Um, and then if we take a look at the height, the height was 107.3 and 108.9. So they both were flying about yeah. the exact same height between the two of them there. Um, I did swing a little faster with the 919 than I did with the 921, um, but across the board, very, very kind of similar numbers. We we'll take a look at dispersion. The 921 hot metal dispersion was just a little tighter, so we're looking at the blue circle versus the red circle. Yeah. So I do get just a little bit of a bump to the 921 versus the 919. Sure. They're both very, very good performing clubs. Right, yeah. right, and that lower spin will you know, help those that are maybe getting their ball lost in the wind per se or something like that, really spinny ball flight, and that, that'll drop that quite a bit for them. So yep. I know that you know with the look and feel too of the hot metal, I know it's it, it looks a little bit larger because it's a game improvement iron. Uh, but I know you commented a few times hitting, especially the 921. And this was also true of the 919, but it's really a soft feel for a game improvement iron. It was. It, it also, I mean, just ever so slightly, slightly more compact versus the 919. Okay. Um, but it did, I mean, I've said this before, for a game improvement iron, it's probably the best feeling game improvement iron out kind of in the market. Now, I like the mm -hmm. Hot Metal Pro a lot because I love yeah. the look of that little smaller, sleeker look. We'll take a look at the numbers here in a second. That was yeah. pretty good performing there as well. Yeah, the Hot Metal Pro, I know you've you talked a lot about during about the feel, the look, and the performance during uh, when you're conducting the test, you're hitting the shots. So we'll move on to the Hot Metal Pro right here. Um, it's basically the same club, right? There's built very similar. It's just a little more compact, same loss, right? So um, it's just built for those golfers that maybe don't want to look at something too, you know, that large at a dress, a little bit smaller. Uh, same materials, same chromoly, uh, 4140 metal. Um, what do we see here from the numbers? Yeah, so look at the numbers. Once again, I did swing the 919 just a little faster than the 921. We tested the 919 a little bit after the 921s, mm -hmm. so that's why maybe I was kind of warmed up here <laughs> towards the end. We hit a lot of golf shots today, yes. too. Um, but kind of taking a look at kind of numbers, what's really interesting is my ball speed number was exactly the same, 135.3, 135.3 with both of them, wow. which is kind of really interesting there. But the efficiency, because I was just swinging a little bit less with the 921, was 147. For a 7 iron, it's pretty, okay. pretty darn good. That's efficient. Um, <laughs> and versus 144. So it's slightly more efficient with the Hot Metal Pro 921. Okay. Um, 5,500 RPM spin versus 6,000 spin. So it's spinning just a little bit, little bit less with the uh, 921 than the 919. And carry was about four yards further. Okay. Now, I always kind of say every degree of loft is right. about three to four yards. So kind of across the board, very, very kind of similar kind of numbers due to kind of loft there as well. So very, very good performing club there as well. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, the again, same thing with the Hot Metal and the Hot Metal Pro. They're both 29 degrees in the 921 series. 
they're 919, uh, 30 degrees in the 919 series. So yep. there is that one degree of loft difference. Then I want to again ask you on that, that look and feel of the 921 Hot Metal Pro. Uh, I know you commented several times, but it's just, it, it, I know it appeals to you as someone who plays a more compact iron in your bag, but the Hot Metal Pro got a lot of great feedback from you. Is that just a little bit smaller look, but still the game improvement performance? I think it just comes down to the kind of little bit smaller kind of look. I mean, yeah. yes, it's not a forged iron. Uh, transitioning to kind of like the JPX forged, I could definitely yeah. notice a difference in feel. But it looked really good look down at. I just, I, for some reason, it just suited my eye better. Um, really looking down at it. I didn't really notice the difference in look between mm -hmm. that and the forged, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I know you yeah. commented on that several times too, is how the forged and the Hot Metal Pro look very similar in the dress. So yep. moving into the Forge then for the JPX 921 and the JPX 919, there is a loft difference there as well. So the 919 series, the Forge is 32 degrees of loft and then 31 degrees in the JPX 921 series. So there is a slight difference there. We'll see a little bit maybe of a difference in the numbers and the dispersion a little bit from that. But Thomas, let's get to the in-depth numbers there and then we'll talk about a little bit about the feel and look as well, but let's get started with the, the data here. What's, this, what's it tell us? Yeah, so jumping to the forge, the thing we, I noticed is the spin rate kind of went up with both the 919 yeah. and 921 versus the Hot Metal, Hot Metal Pro. Loft, essentially, yeah. was kind of causing that to happen. Um, so if we take a look here, ball speed, 132, 131, very, very kind of similar ball speed. Once again, I was swinging the 919 about half an hour, half a mile an hour faster than the 921 but the efficiency smash factor was 145 versus 143. So the 921 did have a little bit more efficiency. Now that could come down to loft a little yeah. bit because there is one degree less loft on the club. But it's really interesting here as we take a look at the spin rate. So the spin rate with the 921 forged actually was a little bit more than the 919 forged, even though it has a little bit less loft. Yeah, interesting. Which is kind of interesting. It was spinning a little bit more. Now we're talking 250 RPMs. So it's not like a huge huge amount it's a, it's a sample size of six shots so it's yeah. it kind of could be i could have had maybe a miss hit in there or something yeah. like there where it got a little thin um but if we take a look at carry distance the uh, 919 was carrying 188.8 the 921 was carrying 189.2 so it was carrying about three to four yards further and once again there's one degree of loft yeah. difference between the two of them there too so yeah, so really kind of interesting, flying around 100 feet with both of them. All well, the clubs have kind of been flying around about 100 to 110 feet mm -hmm. essentially there as well. So yeah, great numbers. 921 forged. If we look in the dispersion circle, red versus the purple on the left here, um, just slightly tighter. But once again, great numbers. Both yeah. perform really well. Yep. And then you know this is the the transition to the fully forged body of the or iron head, right? So. I know you noticed the difference in feel. I kind of noticed the difference in sound too as you were hitting the shots. So um, I would. It seems like this almost fits into that player's distance category, right? Yeah, it is, it definitely is in the player's dif distance iron. When you got 31, 32 degrees of loft on it, it's definitely stronger than your more traditional 34 to 35 degrees of loft on it on yeah. the club there. Mm -hmm. So definitely, just playing player's distance. Um, if you're looking to pick up a few yards, keep that spin rate down. It is definitely a great option. So nine. Mm -hmm. 21, even 919, as you can see, was performing pretty well against mm -hmm. the newer model. So. Yeah, and then even with that forged feel, it doesn't sound like, you know, some of these players' distance miles out there have that, like, really loud, you can tell, you can really tell it's like a hollow body design, and um, it, can, it almost echoes throughout the golf course. Yep. With the forged JPX, both 919 and 921, there wasn't really that sense. It was more of a, it sounded more like a forged player's iron than it did a player's distance iron. Yeah, it feels incredible. I've been yeah. saying that with, with the forged feel with, with Mizuno irons, they do feel really, really soft off the club face. Mm -hmm. It just feels like butter. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, speaking of feeling like butter, the JPX 921 Tour and the JPX 919 Tour. Uh, players iron, they, those are pretty popular on Tour. Both models now uh, are pretty popular on Tour with Mizuno staffers and non-Mizuno staffers. There's guys that aren't even on staff with Mizuno that play uh, Mizuno irons, a lot of them, actually. And um, the 919 Tour and the 921 Tour have the same loft, right, at 34 degrees. So should not see a huge difference in terms of distance there. Um, but let's see what the test tells us. Exactly. Same loft, 34 degrees of loft on them. Um, if we take a look at my ball speed, 129.5 versus 129.4. So very, very similar yeah. kind of ball speed. I did swing a 919.8 mile an hour faster. So I, my efficiency with the... Uh, 
921 was just slightly higher there, uh, and the spin rate was just slightly higher. It was about three to 400 RPMs more. 7180 with the 921 tour, 6800 essentially was kind of the number with the mm -hmm. 919 tour. Um, the 919 tour did go, I think, 1.5 miles an hour, uh, carry distance of 1.5 yard further. Um, that probably comes down to the fact that I was swinging it just a little bit faster yeah. there as well. Um, really, fun, the one thing I really found interesting when, when I was hitting the 921 tour and the 919 tour was my dispersion pattern. So if I look at kind of the left here, you'll notice everything was just left of center. Yeah. So I was a, I liked to hit a little bit of a drawer with those other three models. The ball just kind of hung out on the right. It just yeah. kind of stayed out there to the right, didn't kind of turn over. When I was hitting this one, it actually was really easy to turn over. Right. So that's one thing I didn't notice with the tours, kind of that workability essentially. So I got yeah. good workability there as well. Height, 98 to 100 feet in the air again. So again, very, very similar kind of height there as well. Uh, but the one thing I do notice is definitely the dispersion mm -hmm. pattern was just kind of slightly kind of left there as well. Um, what I do want to do is I do want to also bring up all the clubs, all the seven irons now on the screen. So this is going to look a little bit more kind of jumbled. But now you can kind of see on the left screen, if we've got all the data in front of us, that the red and the blue circle, that's the 919 tour and the 921 tour, okay. Well, it's just kind of a little bit left of center than compared yeah. to everything else there as well. So everything else will stay pretty straight, just a little bit more workability with the tour. Yeah, absolutely. That's going to kind of exaggerate, so to speak, you know, your draw, or if I guess somebody does have, like me, a uh, natural fade, it's going to be a little bit more exaggerated with something that's more uh, a compact, smaller club head, like the 919 and 921 Tour. Now, one thing I wanted to get to is just a, a comparison of the looks of each series, because it seems like... Mizuno's done some things to, at, at the very least, make it appeal more compact in every model, not just the Tour. It seems like they've done, whether they actually have or not, is I guess you may have to get some measurements and measure, you know, by a yeah. millimeter. <laughs> but um, it seems like it, it appears to be more compact at address um, with each of the models in 921 versus 919. I kind of notice it more around kind of the toe edge, kind of like in this in this area here, the toe edge okay. with the 921 models versus the 919 models. Essentially just looked slightly smaller around yeah. that edge, so slightly smaller sole, I guess, and yeah. I mean, pretty comparable in regards to size, but I just did look like it was just a little bit more yeah. thicker. And I noticed it more when I started hitting the Hot Metal Pro. Yeah. Hot, two Hot Metal ones seemed pretty similar in size. But then the Hot Metal Pro, the first time I hit the 921 Hot Metal Pro, I did notice a little bit sleeper yeah. size there as well. Mm -hmm. And then loft, I could kind of notice the little differences in kind of the lofts because there is a slight difference. I mean, we're talking one degree. But I can definitely kind of see that. Yeah. When it, consider I'm used to playing a 34 degree seven iron if i right. see a 31 degree seven iron or a 29 degree seven iron i definitely can notice right the the loft on the club when somebody is dialed as you and you're predicting the carry numbers <laughs> as they're being hit you know one degree different or one degree of loft does make yeah. a difference there so yeah i think when you mentioned the toe area you can see a little bit on the back of this this is the 921 forged you can see a little bit uh there's a lot more space on the 919 forged yep. this is just one example so they've had they've taken a little bit of this kind of material out from the toe and redistributed it throughout the club head so that's a little bit of that look and it's probably you know, enhancing the feel a little bit too uh, from Mizuno. But again, these are some great irons, 921 JPX and the 919. Uh, they're, all eight models are exceptional. They all provide different uh, characteristics in terms of performance. Um, but I think the big takeaway is, you know, just the, the, the shape's a little bit smaller in most of them, but, you know, they've adjusted the loss a little bit, but the feel, the performance, both exceptional. Yeah, both very, very exceptional, 919 and 921, whether they be used looking for a 919 mm -hmm. second swing or even coming in for a custom fitting for 921s, you're going to get really great performance. Yeah, Mizuno's always delivered. Uh, performance, feel, anything you might need on an iron set, Mizuno delivers, and that's no different in the JPX 919 or the JPX 921 series. So, Thomas, thank you for hitting all the shots, breaking down all that data. That's a lot to, to go through there with the track, man. That's a lot of... Uh, data points to look at. So I appreciate you doing that. Uh, it was a beautiful day for hitting some iron shots and looking at some Mizuno irons. Yeah, I'm uh, worn out now, so I'm ready to go <laughs> stretch. And, but yeah, it was, it was a great day. Great, great numbers, great performing clubs.